E-Fooly is the truth. You gonna learn today. Man, what is happening, YouTube? Y'all know me, E-Fooly. Um, quick video, the most underrated God type character. And I'm putting this out there for a few reasons. Shouts out to all the subscribers. Shouts out to everybody who has sent me a friend request on this. I was not able to add everybody only because it was taking into the people that I actually like run with that's on my friends list, whether it be clans or people that I've been on their friends list for a while. Um, quick thing, somebody asked me what my VIP rank is. Y'all see it, it's 15, I know. Big whoop, wanna fight about it. But uh, most God type character, and I feel like it's sorely underrated, is Kazard. Why am I saying this? A couple of reasons. He is not the meta. And some people say he's not the meta because he's, you know, a quote unquote pay type character because all hypogens and celestials you're not they're very 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 low on the loot pool when it comes to like using your diamonds to get heroes so you have to stargazing and that costs fucking money at times so as you can see this dude i got him five star and that's really what i wanted after wukong and i got him 30 plus and his 30 plus signature is increases the duration of most negative debuffs affecting effects which are currently affecting all enemies on the battlefield 60% up to 60 by 60% um, which is very very fucking good and I knew when I read that like before I even got vested that I was like yo I need a hypogen character and I looked at all of them and a lot of people they use, uh, what's this dude's name? Is a, is a, like the first hypogen character that ever came out. Where the fuck is he at? This dude. They use this dude. You know what I'm saying? Which is cool because he's, quote unquote, you can kind of pay for him in the challenger store. So he becomes a little bit more obtainable. But all the rest of them, you can't. But I read all of them and was like, yo, I need to go into one of them. And when I saw this dude, I was like, yes, this is the one. And I am the only one on my server, server 188, that has a Kazar that is five star. Out of everybody on the fucking server. Um, and what I find funny, I don't really go, and I'm going to show you the methods, method behind my madness. I don't really go into the PvP, the 1v1 arena shit. Like, I really don't care. You feel me? So I just let them do whatever the fuck they want to do. And then I get diamonds during the day. Because I don't really get anything from it, right? With this, I actually do. Um, the three-team battle shit, you get challenger tokens and you get to use them in the store. And if you're top ten, you get to go into the hero championship league, whatever. But anyways, I've beaten everybody but number one and number three. Like, I've beaten Diz... Uh, Spotty, Leo for now. I can beat everybody in the top 10, but the dudes that are like over a hundred million. All right. So, but seven is cool with me. I've been seven. I'm not trying to sh rock the boat or anything. People don't fuck with me. This right here, as you can see, number one on the deal. He's the strongest, uh, Leo with 33 million. And then whoever is second, which is myself actually with 30 million. And then I think number three is number eight. But you see, like, I don't really care to flex nuts and be number one and get that. It just doesn't. I don't care about that. Um, but if you look at my record, which I thought was just so fucking funny, the dude is number one. Like, I fought him here. And I fought this dude pit game, and then I figured out what he was doing, and I whooped his ass. But I fought him here, and then if you go up, he tried to revenge and kept getting his ass set the fuck down. He gave up. This guy right here, he uses that that is a team. Let me show you. With Talon, like this is a pretty really good team. Do not let the fact that this dude is mythic fool you because what he's used for is people can't alt anymore. You feel what I'm saying? And mixed with this girl right here, it, it, it's almost an unbeatable team. But anyways, I digress. Number one came after me, and this is his team. 
if you look at mine, me versus him, reason I kept winning is because Kazard freezes the battlefield. Not to mention he has the relic where he gets stronger like every second or some shit like that. But if you look at Lucius, he debuffs. You know what I'm saying? If you look at Tasi, she debuffs. Mixed with Kazard, it's just a combo dude that just fucks with everybody's comp. Because the two people that are mainly used in PvP arenas is Iran and For Real. Those two. You're going to see either one or both on everybody's team. Matter of fact, let's look. Like I said, number one in the server, Iran. Nara and Athelia, you know, they attack, they attack the back lines of anybody's team. You know what I'm saying? And if you're not strong enough, you're going to get swept early in the beginning. And once I figured that out, that's why I moved some people around. I was able to beat them um, uh, for real. You see you see what I'm saying? For real, uh, Aaron. They're in everybody's team comp because they are normal normal faction heroes that you can probably get a little easier than others it goes for real again iran for real like if we can look at everybody's motherfucking team well he's all light bearer that's pretty cool everybody's motherfucking team is pretty much gonna be iran it's just look at this it's just the meta but nobody has this fucking kazard and nobody fucks with your boy fully man like, it's ridiculous that people have slept on him and have not vested. And don't say, oh, it's because he's a pay-to-win character. He's a he's a highly paid-for character. People would rather go for Talon, pay for her, whereas they'll... Kazar will be low-level on their fucking list. You know what I'm saying? And I'm telling everybody, especially if you're using, like, a Tasi or a Lucius, anybody that debuffs... Having Kazard on your fucking squad should be a must. Some people are always going to go into the, the Celestial characters, which is fine. But I needed myself. I needed one of those Hypogen characters. And that's why I went with him. You see, I'm level 69. T Nice. But anyways, I just wanted to show that because people were asking. And I've gotten friend requests just because of my Kazard. Like, yo, I really need a Kazard or I really like to use him. Do you mind sending me a, a friend request or can I send you a friend request or can you delete somebody off your list? You feel me? And, you know, sometimes I'll indulge if you have heroes that I'm like, you know, maybe one day I would need. But most of the time I don't. But I just wanted to show y'all that most underrated guy type character is fucking Kazard. And as you can see, your boy is 3160 in the campaign and what's holding me up for those who don't know your boss battles are multi-team so i need a strong not five i need a strong 15 to sit up here and beat this shit um that's why i say people who are trying to give give me advice that are in like chapter 20 or whatever understand i'm playing a different game right now like the whole game changes when you get to what 30 is it is it 31 31 to 30 when you have to use your top, you have to have multiple teams that are good against these high-level bosses. You feel me? Case in point, this one right here. Most people don't have a strong 15. They go into their their best five. That's how the game is being played up till about chapter 30. You want to have a strong team. You see what I'm saying? But you see what I'm fucking talking about. Um, but shout out to all the subscribers. If I delete you off my friends list, do not fucking trip. You know what I'm saying? I try to keep this shit open for people who are actually playing. And my rule of thumb is, if you haven't logged on in seven days, this game is not really serious to you. So, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm going to kick you off my friends list. But it doesn't it doesn't mean anything. You dig what I'm saying? So, shouts out to all the subscribers. Send me a friend request. Y'all see the, the name. Send me a friend request if you are active on the, on this game. Sorry, I'm looking at something. You're active on the game, and we'll get it going, man. Ask the Brawl Heroes. I don't mind that. Um, but other than that, know that he's fully running the game. If you don't believe that, suck my wang. I'm out.